everyone, today's video is going to be on the Life's Entropy Matte Theory. This is their Liquid to Matte Lipstick. So the matte theories are 850 for I think 4 grams of product and these are a vegan product. I'm wearing it on my lips right now, I think this is like one and a half coats of Variable which is described as a beige rose but I think it's more like a sort of rosy bricky red. This comes in a shape with a doe foot applicator. Personally, I'm someone who is very used to applying products with a doe foot applicator, so I don't have any issues with precision. Make sure when you are applying it that you are keeping your lips taut as it's drying. That way it'll dry evenly all over your lips, otherwise it may just sink into lip lines and not dry evenly. When it comes to variable specifically, I find that the color is mostly opaque in one swipe. What I like to do is actually wear one and a half coats where I'll Draw it from the tube and apply one coat and then as it's mostly drying, I'll use what's left to apply sort of another coat. This way I can get better coverage but it doesn't alter the colors too heavily because I find that it does look a little bit deeper and rosier when you apply two layers as opposed to one layer. I've been wearing this for about a week now and I just wanted to share my thoughts on the formula. So this promises to be long lasting and transfer resistant. I quite like the formula. It's quite long lasting. It is transfer resistant on me and it just wears for seven or eight hours which is sort of the typical time. I find that sometimes flaking is a problem with liquid to matte lipsticks but I had no issues with this flaking on me. So there was no awkward like lipstick line around my lips with like no color in the center. I do like the formula but the only thing I don't like about this is the fact that it's so watery because it's literally sloshing away in here. It's not super creamy or moussey. It literally feels like water. When it comes to practicality and user friendliness, I think that if you were to drop it or if you were to tip it over as you're applying it, you're going to lose a lot of product. So if the texture was more like a cream or a mousse, I think you wouldn't have that problem. So I kind of wish that the texture was less watery. But I still like how the formula wears on me, how it looks on me, and how the color looks on me. You do get a very matte finish with this product. So overall, I think whether you like this or not will depend on how familiar you are with applying lip products, how willing you are to deal with the fact that the formula is a little bit watery and that you have to be a little bit more careful with how you store it and how you hold it. I think it's very reasonably priced compared to other liquid to matte products out there. So I do like this, but I am aware that it may not be for everyone, especially since the texture is so watery. Do you have any recommendations for liquid to matte lipsticks that I should try or anything else from any other indie brands? Uh, feel free to leave a comment below.